Okay, replacing Audi A8 D3. This is a 2009 uh, headlights. So I replaced the HID beam and the uh, daytime running light. Um, what I did do is I just loosened the power steering pump uh, just to give you a millimeter more uh, play. I just pulled the, just lifted um, the coolant reservoir and just slid this tube between here, unclipped the sensor. This bolt actually just locked up the nut seized on the other side so it's tough so I had to cut it off but anyways lifted that and then you can actually just use these clips. There's a clip here and then there's a clip about four inches over or three inches over. Just undo that, undo the black the back plate like this one. The secret here really to doing the uh, driver's side because you can't reach it. Um, you see how you've got a lot of room here? This black cable on the bottom, this one, Oops. that one right there, that's the HID power. It slides into the top of the back right there. You can see the top of it. Anyways, when you open it, you can't, uh, oh, when you've got it open, I'll show you another picture or clip, but basically the, uh, the wire harness plastic piece won't fit into the HID ballast when it's open. So when you open it, it kicks off that connector and has a little foot in there. So what I did, I just used some needle nose pliers, needle nose pliers, and I just pinched the end off that little foot and pulled it out. Be careful not to damage the wires inside, but I was able to do it. Then I was able to slide the, pla the yellow plastic ring on the inside um, and so put the wire back in before put the wire back into the HAD connector spin the yellow connector so that it's parallel so it can be pushed on and then turned outside of the housing that sounds very confusing and it is very confusing you'll see when you get in there but in a nutshell Audi wants to make it so that um, the HID ballast cannot be plugged into its wire while it is outside in your hand because that would be easy. They want you to put the ballast inside, lock it in there, then the wire can be inserted. That's the key here. So if you kick off or break off that little foot, then you can have the HID ballast out in your hand, put the wire in, and then slide it back on and turn it and lock it. Hope that helps. So I did both sides. Obviously the driver's side is much more difficult. I did a couple bolts here just to give myself like, there, just to give myself a couple millimeters of room and it makes a difference. Um, but anyways, all in all, I'd say you're able to do both sides for the first time in less than an hour and replace all four bulbs.